Welcome, uh, Snake uh, Keeper fans. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're a bit festive here today. We've got some uh, uh, house geckos on the barbecue, uh, warming them up uh, so they can be fed to uh, uh, some of the snakes that uh, appreciate uh, a lizard rather than a rodent. So stay tuned for more feeding action. We just got these uh, house geckos off the barbecue. And I see we already have a customer. No? Huh? These are yummy. I made them myself. Here. Uh, you already ate. I know you would eat another one. You, you just want to get out. You get back there. I have uh, six. Heck, it's Colorado's cam. Get your head back in there, bud. Come on. What? You think this is a takeout place, huh? Come on, get your head back in there. How about you? You interested? Uh, there's too many saw scales to keep track of here. Oh. You already ate one, huh? Oh my goodness, I'm being swarmed by Ekis. Come on guys, cooperate for once. Come on, I know you want out. I know you want to eat another one. Huh? You want to eat another one off the Barbie? I really have to be careful because I have, I have more Ekis to know, than I know what to do with in here. Here. And you guys can watch him uh, eat one off the Barbie. There we go. Good job. Come on. You go over there. You go over there. This girl seldom uh, comes out. You know, she is a very big girl. Um, well, there's, uh, there's my hook. It's about 18 inches or so. Um, boy, I wish I had s something uh, we could really, uh, measure her by handy. I don't think I have anything, uh, um, hmm. Just a moment. There we go. She's a big girl as you can see. Uh, she's the one large female that I have uh, that's produced some young over the past couple of years. I've had her since she was just a little tyke. Um, but I want to sort of uh, check her out a little bit and uh, and see what's going on there in the lower end. She only dropped one live baby this year and a few slugs and I just want to make sure there's nothing in there that uh, that's stuck so to speak. So I'm going to tube her and, and have a quick look. By the way, a bite from a squam this size could be a significant metal, medical event. Uh, um, I know uh, smaller squams uh, wreak havoc with people's uh, clotting systems and kidneys. Uh, a large one like this uh, uh, certainly would be unpleasant. Okay, let's see if we can uh, tube her peacefully without too much of a, a ruckus. You're okay, baby. You're okay. Only because, uh, you know, she, there, that was very nice. Only because, you know, I think we've really worked up some trust. Um, did she take uh, that... Uh, uh, fairly easily. 
Now we're just trying to feel around. I know, baby, that's uh, that's okay. We're just trying to feel around and see if we have some embryos that are stuck. I know there's a mouse in there too, which was probably what I just felt. Um, I don't really feel anything hard except probably what is the mouse, so I'm not going to molest her any, any further. You're okay, baby. You're okay. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I um, really don't like uh, having to do that to my animals because they don't know what I'm doing. They're just thinking, oh no, he's hurting me. And uh, I certainly don't want to do that. And Unfortunately, uh, sometimes, you know, they need something done to, to make them uh, well or, uh, or fix a problem. And, um, you know, and they don't understand that that's my aim. Okay, let's put her back in here where she feels comfortable. There you go, girly. There you go. I'm sorry I had to bother you. I'm sorry I had to bother you. Yeah, I know. I know. There you go. There you go. Here we are at the business end of a uh, little water cobra that I just uh, was very nice to and uh, helped him shed and to show his gratitude he still wants to bite me. Um, these are cute little guys but uh, some of them are very cranky and this is no exception to the rule. This may be the only way that I can get my camera to focus and do Congo Water Cobra Cam. Woo hoo! Look at you, you little cranky beast. Ah, well, show those fangs to people. Just don't stick them in my finger. Okay. Now this guy's uh, upset enough, so let me uh, put him back in his cage. Speaking of cranky, this little girl is uh, cranky as you can see. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, my dear? Isn't she beautiful? She is a Congo Squam. Not uh, your Tanzanian Squam, but a Congo Squam. So this will be an interesting bloodline to propagate. But she's a cranky little girl. She was uh, pretty well done when she got here. Uh, uh, in February from the Congo and uh, uh, I stuck with her and uh, kept her going and treated her and now this is the thanks I get right huh yeah you want something to eat I bet uh, I think we can arrange that Mr. Bob is on his way over because we have a, a task at hand and uh, after that I'll break out the vittles there you go, girly. Well, hi, Mr. Nishii. How are you today? Are you cranky as usual, huh? Are you cranky as usual? These guys are always cranky. Yeah, he's going to whack the camera. He's going to whack the camera. I'll tell you what's even uh, more fun than him whacking the camera is uh, watching him gape. Oh. Atheris Nichii cam or Sedge Viper. Very, very beautiful uh, species from uh, Africa. There. We didn't uh, bug you too much, but I'll tell you, <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll put on, normally he puts on quite a show when uh, you wet him down. But I guess not today. Oh well, that's the way it goes. Here's something. 
we've got the Deboya Palestini who uh, caught a lures although she's not doing it uh, as much as she was a moment ago of course I didn't have the camera in hand go where'd it go my mouse it disappeared it disappeared see how she's moving her head side to side that's to uh, help a little bit with the stereo imaging and stuff um, just fixing distances much more accurately than if she was just uh, uh, you know aiming in one uh, uh, horizontal plane uh, just another thing that I see that these guys do that uh, you don't necessarily see all uh, all vipers do. Oh, there's my mouse. There's my mouse. Strike cam. Look at those pupils. Huge. A mm. little bit unnerved with the camera, I think. Normally she is not hesitant at all. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Deboya Palestini Cam. Certainly a very, very beautiful species. Unfortunately, uh, cursed with that ugly nostril of hers. But just fantastic uh, desert uh, adapted animals. Uh, when I was in Israel, unfortunately I didn't, I was only there for, I only had like three days on a, after uh, some business was conducted uh, to go off herping and uh, uh, I found one DOR uh, but did not uh, see any that were uh, uh, alive and kicking. Um, matter of fact, I only saw one snake and it was a colubrid and it took off like a like a rocket uh, up near Haifa um, so I didn't have a chance to even catch that uh, when I'm in the field I'm very cautious on what I grab I always make sure I can identify what I'm gonna put my hands around uh, uh, okay let, uh, let her do her thing she is one pissy snake she whacked the mail, and now she just... Oh, I'll whack the camera a few times, too. Yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah, oh. Jeez. Female serpent. Well, it hurt the last time, so you took it a little bit easy, huh? Nasty Moorish Viper Cam. Oh, you dirtied my lens. See, this is okay. Uh, I'm distracting her because that male is still having all sorts of trouble swallowing that damn rat. He wouldn't listen to me and and take it the way I gave it to him. He had to try to eat it sideways.
No question about it. You bump into one of these guys during the night and you're going to get chomped. No question about it. These guys uh, are as vile as puff adders as far as uh, taking shots. They are as pissy as they get. And they've got some serious, serious toxins in their venom, including a nice cocktail of betaloproteases, which will just dissolve away your tissue like there's no tomorrow. And if you don't get treatment, there probably won't be any tomorrow. I should call her Miss Piss. Look at that. What did I see? I see a fang stuck there on the leaf. I'll have to retrieve that uh, at some point. I'm not sure how to do that with her. I was safer retrieving Gabby's fang than uh, one of hers. And here we got it. Uh, safe and sound. Uh, Macrovipra mauritanica. It's uh, not nearly as uh, big as our friend Gabby, uh, but still will get the job done. No question about it.